Day 13. Uh, this question from Richard off of something who Richard 1J1 Smith uh, asks this. The delegates in Curse of Peladon are a bit of a mixed bunch. If you were creating a galactic federation, which creatures would you want to ally with? So do- we're talking about Doctor Who creatures, not just Well, the ones in Curse creatures. of Peladon are kind of crazy. Not as crazy as the ones in Dalek's Master Plan, though. No, I would want something like true. Dalek's Master Plan where you have all these weird and and funky and some of them not even like bipedal humanoid looking yeah stuff because you want to be inclusive but they are all kind of evil and uh you know so i don't you know well, Arctur- said this Arctur- was a good federation well no it's a cool well let's 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 um, let's assume we're doing good in the universe let's for, for, for there's enough bad in the universe let's try to do some good and find creatures in the you Doctor Who universe, who would want to ally with to do good? So but who, in Curse of Peladon, the Ice Warriors were there, and they were good, but they weren't good before or after. Okay, I don't. True. Well, all right. If you want to pick um, um, Maga, I don't know what the name of the guys from Dalek's Master Plan were. I imagine the Terry Nation Army would. But <laughs> I think I don't you could have the Jadoon as a cop because the, the, they're the, just cops. They could be good. The name or you just mentioned. Who's in charge? Yeah. The name you just mm-hmm. mentioned, I think, is Galaxy Four. Uh, you want the raw? Oh, the mo- I did tonight. Um, monoids. We need monoids on this crew. I think so. Um, monoids now. and sensorites. Uh, sensorites. Definitely you need, sensorites. You need, you need sensorites to like have like the the big foot population represented. What about the not, vort, not the, the big foot, big but the big foot. The bell, oh, like the big the circular feet kind of thing. I, it would be. I tell you what, it'd be kind of quiet having the sensorites because they, you know, they sometimes use telepathy and they don't like loud noises or or brightness. And the mono now now it's a very tricky thing with the monoids because you know initially they were a slave class and then they um, rebelled as they probably rightly should, mm-hmm. but then got drunk on their power and started talking and stuff. So do we equate the, the acquisition of voice as like a slave being too ahead of themselves or something? I'm mean, so oh that's, a, that's not good. I know, right? This is a pretty dicey thing when you're talking about the monoids, which, which is the true monoid, which is the true Ood. Remember the Ood were like, oh, they're all wise and intelligent, but really they were kind of like a slave class too. It's got really interesting. Um, see, I, I want to see, let's liberate the Ogrons or help them liberate themselves and then give them a place at the table because they probably aren't yeah. bad dudes. They just got a bum deal. They're really scared of that garbage bag, that orange garbage bag on their home planet. So there's there's a, there's a certain vulnerability to them that I don't think we've uh, we've explored that much. So yeah, your voice is heard. You are in a safe space, Ogrons. Have a seat at the table with the yeah, The Ogre, on the other hand, those guys are bastards. The Ogri are very <laughs> difficult, actually. That's true. So no Ogri. No Gri. Um Who else would be nice to I mean I do feel like we've um you know, we haven't exactly got um uh the the prime speakers here because the Ogrons don't speak much and the no. sense rights don't like loud noises. Well so. who talks too much? The justice machines. We could have them as advisors. The Magara. I really want the Magara on there. I think they're yeah. they're good at what they do, right? They're pretty good. Well, I mean, they're effective with the, what they do. I, yeah. I don't Imagine know if they're good like had, at what they do. No, the Megara and the Jadoon, if they worked together, they would just be arguing like regulations back and forth like all day. And then... <laughs> yes, that's true, yes. <laughs> that I think the Sea the, Devils uh, have also gotten a bum deal. Let's let's ally them with our, us. They probably wouldn't go for it anyway. I agree. So, I, let's I, give it I a shot. Like, I, yeah, I kind of like that we're sort of like helping deliberate the Ood and the, uh, the monoids and, you know, the sea devils were the original indigenous species on, uh, on planet earth. Um, so I like that. I like this galactic federation. We're, we're doing good for the universe here, you know? Um, I, I don't know what, what bring back the thals spending the thals. Yeah. Hmm. But they do good. I suppose so. They're a little Aryan for my liking. All yeah, that's true. They are a little Aryan. You know? <laughs> We're trying to send a different message. How about we try and win over the uh, Movellans? That, now that... That's like, a, that's an whole, alliance of convenience. I think this whole Galactic Federation is a way to to win over the Movellans. That's the purpose of the Federation, is to say, let's win over the Movellans. Let's win over their awesome silver disco we, yeah, android. We require more box. funk, and they are the funkiest uh, of the robots. They, oh, they are the funkiest of robots. We need the funk. Gotta have that funk. So Ooh. I think you're right. Let's let's lure the Mavellans in. 
Chris, do you have a Mavellan agenda that you uh, want to profess? No, no, I'm just the, the whole parliament reference. Because that works on more than one level. I know. So instead of a galactic federation, we'll call it a galactic parliament. And mm -hmm. actually, the front people of that will be the Will Mavellans. be George Clinton and, and the parliament Funkadelic? Yes. Yes. <laughs>